Welcome back to another unboxing video, this time around going the DVD route and uh, taking a trip to Japanese land with a film by Takashi Miike Harakiri. Uh, I guess it's a remake of a movie from the 60s, I believe by Kurosawa, which is in turn an adaptation of a book, so uh, maybe third time's a charm, I guess. Uh, I've never seen any or read any of the previous, I am familiar with uh, the whole Harakiri uh Samurai Suicide, uh, whatever. So I, I'm aware of what the film is about loosely. No actual clue about what's uh, what's going on inside of it. As you can see, picked it up for uh, the grand price of $1 at a dollar store. So, uh, very acclaimed filmmaker Takashi Miike. There you go. Uh, the features, it does feature some, uh, some dude talking about the movie, I guess. And other than that, uh, not much. As you can see, it's real, uh, I guess it did pretty good at the Tribeca Film Festival, and American Express actually, uh, had something to do with putting out this DVD, so let's go ahead and pop it open. Movies you buy, as opposed to, uh, all you dregs society out there going to steal them. I do like this uh, slipcover. It looks pretty nice, regardless of the quality of the film. It's got a pretty good looking slip. Huh? I need a knife for this one. Don't need the, that damn thing. I don't even need it. It's not fucking tearing. some crap about both American Express and the Tribeca Film Festival, so, uh, my, mind blown. That's wild, wonderful whites of West Virginia right there. That's, uh, that's officially now, that I'm sure is worth keeping, and suddenly this Tribeca Film Festival actually matters. So, uh, this film just jumped up, jumped up a full point on my interest scale. There you, uh, there you have it. Love, honor, revenge, a dollar. <laughs> 